Hello everybody, welcome to yet another Groove Lesson. My name is Linus and today we are going to play some good old-fashioned rock and roll. So, let's go! So, when I say old-fashioned rock and roll, what I mean is a beat that sounds like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. So maybe the, the advanced drummers out there will just say, ah, there's nothing special. But in my opinion, this is a groove you gotta have down as a drummer, as a gigging drummer. There's gonna come up this one day when you're in the bar with your friends and you will have to play a rock and roll tune. Um, it happened to me, it happened to almost every drummer I know. Um, so I think it certainly will happen to you someday. So you better be prepared and let's dive in and break down this groove. The basis is um, alternating pattern between the bass drum and the snare. We play the bass drum on one and three of the bar. So just the bass drum on its own sounds like this. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, one, two. Okay, pretty straightforward. And then as I said, alternating in between the bass drum hits, we play the snare drum with our left hand on two and four. So together, Bass drum and snare sound like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Nothing fancy, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Then again comes the slightly more tricky part with the uh, right hand on the hi-hat or the uh, right cymbal. Uh, it's kind of similar to the disco beat I did in my last video. You kind of have to feel the music to make this kind of beat groove. So, uh, let's take a closer look at the right hand. Uh, in theory, what you play is a straight eight notes throughout the entire measure. So, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And just the right hand sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So it already, it is pretty fast. Um, this kind of music lives around the 150, 160 BPM uh, range. So um, that's kind of the tempo you have to get it down. Uh, what you just heard me play, or you might not have heard me play, what I, but what I did was I accented every two and four with my right hand on the hi-hat to make this thing groove. Um, I know that's not the easiest thing to do if you're just starting out. Um, but believe me, it makes a big difference. So uh, let's play all of this together with the accents on the hi-hat on two and four. Sounds like this. One, two, one, two, three. Again, you can just, you could just play um, simple eighth notes without the accents on the hi-hat. Makes it sound kind of slightly more robotic, but it works. Just listen to the difference. One, two, one, two, three. It works, but it, in my opinion, and that's just my opinion, it doesn't groove as much. If you like it, that's fine. Play it like that. Um, Another advantage, if you do the accents on two and four with the right hand, is you have a little bit more room to move with the left hand. Just look at my hands, how they are moving when I play with the accents again. One, two, three, four. You avoid the problem of uh, getting in your way with the two sticks. Um, but again, it's just an opinion thing. In theory, it's eighth notes throughout the entire measure. Now, of course, you can also play this on the right cymbal. Same pattern uh, with the right hand and the left uh, hand and your right foot. Sounds like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Exactly the same thing as we did before. Now, of course, now when you don't play the hi-hat, you have your left foot free to play the hi-hat with your foot. What I usually do is, I also accent the two and four with my left foot. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
So the left foot just plays in unison with your left hand. You can also just play water notes and with your left foot. Um, I also like to, to do this to kind of raise the energy level of the beat. I'm gonna play it for you first, accents on two and four, and then uh, quarter notes on the hi hat. Sounds like this: one, two, one, two, three. So just a tiny little thing you can add to uh, spice it up. So, and uh, on a final note for this video, quick talk about fills. So as you heard me playing in the beginning of this video, and you will hear me again playing by the end of this video, I don't play fancy uh, chops and fills with this kind of music, because in my opinion, and again, that's just my opinion, it doesn't fit the style of music. I mostly stick to uh, eighth notes on the snare or 16th notes on the snare, maybe around the toms. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna play it three bars of groove, one bar of fill, one, two, one, two, three. In my opinion, that's more than enough for this kind of music. So don't be afraid, even as a beginner, to sit in uh, when a band's playing a rock and roll tune. You can do it. I know you can. That's it for today. I hope you had fun learning this rock and roll groove. If you liked what you saw, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you have an idea what I, or a suggestion what I should cover in the next video, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And then I see you in the next video. Bye bye.